Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm not gonna say that I'm back again because I seem to always say that in my videos, but I'm back with a new video and hopefully it'll be like a continuous thing, but I've just been busy with life. So yeah, so hopefully I'll be uploading regularly for you guys, um, but yeah, I have a couple of video ideas that hopefully you guys will like, and yeah, so let's get on to the video. So for today, this video, I'm going to be doing something with my hair, um, I'm going to be removing the color with color oops I got the extra strength formula because I'm going to be doing something crazy with my hair so I just wanted to see how much I could get rid of before then so yeah. well, this is what my hair currently is it's um, black on the top with like I bleached it and colored the bottom half. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I do have a tiny bit of like my natural color, which is pretty close to black. So, I have used color oops before. And for me, it always lifts it. So like it will be different shades and stuff like that. Not like fully removed, but it should do its job. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen other people use it and they say like that it's like bleach their roots and stuff like that, but like I've never had that issue, so I don't know like if it's just like it's been on the shelf for a while and stuff like that, but. I will be showing you step by step how I use this and we're gonna see if it makes any more of a difference. This is more of what my hair looks like right now, but alright, I'll see you in the bathroom so I can start showing you the process. Alrighty, I am in my bathroom. And now I'm gonna do the color oops on my hair. Okay, so in the package, it comes with this little bottle and this little bottle. So you pretty much mix them together. Then it also comes with gloves and they very nicely give you plastic bag to put over your head afterwards to incubate it and yeah that's pretty much it and then yeah that's it for now so let me mixy 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 okay try not to spin on So, it says to do this on clean hair, but I've always done it on, like, slightly dirty hair. Um, today it's a little bit more greasier, so we're gonna see if it actually does anything. Oh, yes. You should probably snip this little tip off. But I'm gonna do it. Yeah, my scissors. Go. Don't mind my pasta stains. It's really not wanting to. Okay. I don't know if that's good, but hopefully that's good. 
and then you put the little bottle on. Okay. Now you definitely should wear gloves for this application. And if you're like me, you might spill stuff, so yeah, I would recommend you put it on underneath you. Okay. Hopefully I'm in frame for you guys to see me do this. It just, I don't really have a good setup in my bathroom, so I'm working on what I got. So sorry for the close-ups. Okay. Okay, now that I got my little gloves on. It's very, you know, shake it up for 30 seconds. This looks wrong, so I'm just gonna do it off camera. Oh, oops. That just went everywhere. Oh no. Sorry, gotta all over my walls. I didn't hold it very well. Um, the disc mount there, I got it like everywhere. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Hopefully that's it. And also this smells like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say ass, but it smells like rotten eggs so it does smell really bad so just gonna if you're wondering why i'm looking up i'm just looking at my mirror in front of me but basically i take pretty big sections but i just basically go in and just rub it in there for me, like, my bottom part is dyed, so I, I'm not going to go too hard with the, oof, with the liquids, but. And then, on the black part, it's going to cut a lot, and I'm not going towards my roots, which you can't even tell, because they match the black, but. Keep doing it until my hair pretty much looks wet. So I just did that one half for now off camera, but I'll be back at it. Just wiping the excess off.
Okay, I put the rest in my hair. It's all nice and soggy. And now I'm gonna put the little processing cap on. And, uh, and I will see you guys in 20 minutes so this process for 20 minutes and then I'll be back to explain the next steps and then the final result Brady, I am back it's been 20 minutes for me oh. it's very stinky yeah, obviously it's not gonna really look like it's done anything yet because the key to this is the washing your hair part. So it says on here that you're supposed to rinse for 20 minutes and then shampoo and rinse for five minutes and then it says you can do it as many times as you need, but they recommend you only do it three times. So yeah, so I'll be back and hopefully we'll see a difference. I'm back. It has been a couple days, but the color remover, the color oops, did really like do, look at that, like, that part's my roots, and then that, I don't know if you can see it, but like that, yeah, maybe I'll, <laughs> can't do it right. There's like a reddish tinge in my hair, and that's the black, I don't know, but it did remove a lot of the black from my hair and then it's mostly on my ends still and it didn't do too much to the colored spots but overall I would say that's a success and it's very exciting now I can let my hair grow and do something crazy with my hair next and see you guys in the next video bye